Hello everyone and welcome to Jam and Thrive Online. Today I am so happy to share this Bible story with you where we're going to start off and launch a new series called Spiritual Conversations. Today we're learning about the awesome job that we have as Christians. But before we do, let's get started by singing a song. How many of you can think of your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher has to be my fourth grade teacher. She would always make everything so fun to learn and would teach in a way that it was easy to remember. I even remember her dressing up as different characters to help teach us what we were learning. She was also the school's music teacher and I love singing and music helps me better remember things. So I loved going to school and being in her class. She was always so happy and excited to be at school and you could tell that she really cared about us as her students. She also shared the love of Jesus with us every single day. It was so awesome. You probably have a favorite teacher too. What is your favorite teacher's name and why do you like them so much? Go ahead, pause this video and share with your family. Did you know that the Bible tells us that everyone can be a teacher? Everyone can teach their friends, family, and anyone that they know that Jesus is the savior of the world. He died on the cross to take away our sins and now he's alive. That is the most important thing anyone could teach. In fact, in today's Bible story, a man named Philip teaches a traveler that Jesus is the savior. Just like Philip, we can share this good news. Today's Bible story comes from the book of the Bible called Acts. It tells us of a traveler um, coming from the country of Ethiopia. If you don't know where Ethiopia is, here is it on the map. As he traveled, he was reading God's word. So he was walking along reading the word of God, the Old Testament, but he didn't understand what he was reading. Then Philip, who was a follower of Jesus, helped him understand what he was reading. See, the Ethiopian believed in God, but he didn't know that Jesus already came to earth. After worshiping God in the city of Jerusalem, he was traveling back home in a chariot. And when he was reading the scroll that was God's word, he didn't understand what it was talking about. He thought it was really confusing. Have you ever been confused when reading the Bible before? What should you do if you're confused? That's right, you can ask for help. You can ask your parents or teachers or pastors about what the scripture means. Anyways, then he saw a man running alongside his chariot and it was Philip. He said, do you understand what you're reading? And the Ethiopian answered, how can I unless someone explains it to me? So Philip became the Ethiopian's teacher right then and there. He explained the meaning of the scriptures to him. He taught him how Jesus had died on the cross to take the punishment for our sins. And sins are the wrong things that we do. I think you know that, I think you've heard that before. And because Jesus died on the cross and came alive three days later, he rose again. We can be forgiven, you can be forgiven. We are part of Jesus' family and will be with him in heaven someday. This is good news. How do you think the Ethiopian felt when he heard this good news about Jesus? He must have been excited for someone to teach him about Jesus. He even wanted to be baptized right away, then and there. And immediately after Philip baptized him, the Holy Spirit took Philip away. Philip listened to the Holy Spirit and taught the Ethiopian about Jesus. The really cool thing about this story is that the Ethiopian believed the good news of Jesus and became a part of his family. 
The exciting news about it for us is that we are a part of Jesus' family too. And just like Philip, we can teach others about Jesus. And that brings me to today's big idea. Are you ready? Can I get a drum roll? Today's big idea is that we are God's church. We teach others about Jesus. Can you say that with me? We are God's church. We teach others about Jesus. Very good. Now, before I go, I want to teach you guys this series memory verse. It comes from Colossians 4, 5 and says, Walk in wisdom towards those who don't believe, making the best use of time. Now let's add some actions. Walk in wisdom towards those who don't believe, making the best use of time. This verse reminds us that every day is an important day. That is because each day we can use our words to tell others about how great Jesus is. Now, would you please join me in prayer? Dear God, we love you so much. Please help us teach others about how great Jesus is. Thank you for all you've given us. In Jesus' name, amen. Lastly, before I go, I want your family to spend some time practicing answering these questions. Because we're in a new series called Spiritual Conversations, we might as well practice answering questions about our faith. So if you have a dice from a game or from Yahtzee, go ahead and grab that now. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll the dice and whatever number it lands on, answer the following questions. So if you roll a one, Answer the question, who is Jesus? If you roll a two, answer this question, how do you get to heaven? If you roll a three, answer this question, how do you believe God works miracles? If you roll a four, answer this question, does God ever talk to you? And if you roll a five, answer this question, what do you think heaven is like? If you roll a six, answer, why were we created? We pray that this time blesses your family as you grow closer to him together. Have a great day.